Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, October 11th, 2020. It is 46 degrees, 46 very breezy degrees at 8.02 a.m. I am your host, Buck Kamal, and I am here with my brothers, princes, and co-stars, Samuel and Maxie. And we've been up since about, oh, a little bit after six. Uh, we finished our morning meditation readings, our coffee, and made our list of to-dos. And we've just been sitting here and enjoying uh, the presence of these loves, the songs of God and the chimes, and the beautiful pastel colors this morning. And we are planning and hoping to get a ride in today, but we don't know when. We're going to do a lot of kitchen work today. Uh, going to cook a roast, make some soup, possibly bake some bread, cook some rice. Do a lot of prep cooking for this week. So uh, when I come home from work at night, I can just heat stuff up for dinner. But I do want to get a ride in. It's not supposed to rain. Boy, it is beautiful. And, uh, but you never know. This is Michigan. It's October. It's the weather. It does what it wants. I believe my own senses rather than a weatherman, and it would not surprise me to see some rain today. No wildlife out there feeding right now. I slept pretty good. Um... Uh, I just got to get something off my chest right now. A major failure from yesterday. I made an iced coffee. And I poured half of it in another jar and drank it. It was a 16 ounce iced coffee. Before my ride yesterday. Before my color tour ride. And long story short. Last night I was reaching for another jar to drink some ice water out of. And I, I, I left what remained of that iced coffee up in the cupboard. I did not put it back in the refrigerator. <laughs> so that was just a major colossal failure on my part. And, you know, you know me, you know the drill. I was on the phone half the night with my, my shrink, and I ate like six or eight th Thorazine to get through that. I was just devastated at what a loser I am. So there it is. But I got through it. It's, you know, no big deal. I'll be all right. I'll make another one. So anyway, another thing we plan on doing today is uh, putting the cassette that arrived from Amazon on our trek. Possibly going and getting a new chain for that and get getting that machine uh, trail and road worthy again. My Trek 950, uh, it's a 1998 Trek 950, and I love that machine, I love that bike, and what can I say, it's been out of commission most of the summer because of lack of a drivetrain, I got, I had ordered a new crank set for it and it never came in, and it finally came in like after I put a claim in with uh, eBay and PayPal and everybody else, the ghost neighbor Bob. And then the thing arrives, and then I write the guy and that sent it to me to tell him that, hey, I finally got the thing, bill me, and I never heard back from him. So I assume he was just content with the claim he got from eBay. He was probably reimbursed through insurance or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Ordered a tire for the Oh, the Kona Jake yesterday, the rear one was getting a little worn, and the place I ordered from in England last year to get those tires, they were $18 a piece. This year they're up to 39 and that's because of the excessive shipping charges. I managed to get one here in the, the States for $26, so we ordered that yesterday. What else? I don't know, but anyway, back to the Trek. I need a chain for it. And I like using that as a, I call it my marauder. And mostly now I like riding it on gravel roads and uh, minor trail riding uh, because I've got a set of uh, tires on that one just like on the Kona, only they're wider. They're naturally you know, wider on a mountain bike. They're two-inch tires. 
but they have a low rolling resistance profile on the cent center part of the tread and then they've got uh, knobbies on the edge so gives me some traction anyhow we're gonna pause right now hey we are back and uh, I just thought of something else from yesterday after my ride my color to a ride I stopped at the friendship room and saw Randy and he gave me a photo uh, that was taken of me as a volunteer there a couple years ago several years ago and it was nice and while I was there, I decided to grab a meal to go. And uh, I haven't been a volunteer there in quite some time. I was working at Save a Lot and wasn't able to do it. Uh, but I committed to going and helping him out next Saturday for five years or so, or maybe even a little more than that. I was a volunteer on Saturdays, and I miss doing that. So now that I'm on a Monday to Friday schedule, I can go volunteer there with him again if he needs me. But I also saw uh, my old friend Bergie and... Uh, you know, it's been a long time since we spoke, and he must have thought I was a raving lunatic when I let loose with all the stuff that came out of me, you know, a lot of anger and shit like that over the state of the world and the state of this country, COVID, all kinds of things, you know, the victimization of everyone, and, uh, you know, everything I think, say, and do, and things I don't even have to think, say, and do that pisses off and offends somebody and I'm a racist and blah, 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 and I just unloaded on him on my thoughts on all that stuff. And uh, it's something, I don't know, I see, it's like when I worked at the rehab and I learned about this about myself and, and I relate a lot of it to myself as far as like... Uh, someone that's an addict and doesn't use drugs or alcohol anymore and haven't for 25 years almost. If I got the will and the strength to dig it out of me and, and be myself and make things happen and quit being a victim and quit blaming others, other people can do it too. But most of us don't want to and we are who we are because we choose to be that way. We've all had things happen in our lives that we say, yeah, it wasn't fair, yeah, it wasn't right. Uh, that shouldn't have had to happen and blah 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 but there comes a point where you got to own up to it and say hey yeah so that wasn't right now what am I going to do about me am I going to live in the past and let that dictate my future or am I going to you know pull myself together and move on and grow from it and you know even like when I was at the rule uh, rehab and trying to uh, help people and whatnot. I wasn't trying to, you know, like be a lion tamer and make them conform or whatever. I was trying to help them see that they are worthwhile individuals. They have the courage, strength, and knowledge to know what their problems are, deal with them, and overcome them on their own. To be not so much independent, but to be uh, empowered to you know, overcome bullshit when it comes your way, you know. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it a minute and we'll get back to it. So anyway, when we empower ourselves to do things and find out that we have the strength and knowledge and will to do that and overcome things, we grow, we get self-esteem, we get self-worth, we get self-value. Uh, self-love and uh, nobody can give that to you it's within you you know and, and I don't know uh, but we, we end up not wanting to do that a lot of us we'd rather be victims and have things handed to us a lot of us I think and uh, you know I'm culpable and capable of it and guilty of it at times too you know having someone bail me out but yeah, quit being a victim and empower yourself and grow and that'll get you places you won't believe. And every one of us has that potential, you know, and I guess a classic example is in this country is not having a vehicle and I can't get to work. Bullshit, I don't care how many times I've heard that and back before I had vehicles or bicycles, if you really want to work, you'll find a way to get there. You'll walk, you'll get a ride from someone, you'll call public transportation. And, uh, and it's just a lot of people just don't want to 
do that, you know, and they're so worried about what other people might think. Oh boy, what are they going to think if they see me walking, you know, and there's too much of that. And that's the way humanity is for the most part, doing stuff based on what others might be thinking of us, the social perception. And that's why my name is Fa Kamal, you know. If, if you do things and live your life based on what others might be thinking of you, or even if they are thinking that of you, whose life are you living? You live in your life or theirs? So that's all we have for now. Hopefully we're going to get out and do some other videos for you. I don't know if that any of that rant made any sense, but it, one of these days maybe it will. Maybe I'll be able to make sense of it all. But it is a beautiful morning. And we're going to get rolling on with this day. So piss off and have a happy Sunday.